This is a few radios for my uh, SBE collection, CB collection. SBE stands for Sideband Engineers. This radio is from 1972. It was completely restored by me, not really that much work because this one was already in mint condition. We got the uh, SBE microphone with it, desktop microphone, really a nice unit. And this particular one I changed a crystal in the crystal synthesizer such that channels 1, 2, 3 and 4 are now 36, 37, 38 and 40. So 3 corresponds to 38, where all the uh, single sideband traffic resides. We got good propagation today. One, two, three, four, five. Gives about 16 watts. Now if you have this radio yourself, either the console 2 or the sidebander 2, which is the mobile version of the same radio, here are the uh, crystal mixing schemes for the uh, sidebander 2 and the pace and the others that are basically the same radios. So what you gotta do is, here is your high fr higher frequency crystal. And then these four are constantly being reused as you switch in a new one, which in total creates 24 channels of which one is suppressed. So what you do if you change this crystal, you can either do this for channel 1, 2, 3, 4, or whatever other group of four you want to take. If you replace this crystal with a 12.1 megahertz version, which can still be bought on the internet, then you basically create channels 36, 37, 38 and 40. 39 is skipped because of the uh, the way these um, crystals are laid out here. You can see that here it, it increments with 10 kilohertz and then suddenly it goes up with 20. That's just the way the, the band was laid out. So if you have a radio like that you can uh, do this yourself. And you basically can use it on single sideband without all kind of difficult modifications. When you do that, you don't even have to realign it. It will work just fine by changing that crystal. Crystals are socketed, so you don't have to solder. This one when I bought it was like mint. It's very nice condition. I changed a few capacitors that were going bad. Not too many. And uh, now it works like new again. Modulation. Modulation for this radio is really good. I can uh, let you hear that. I thought one was talking to me, it got, kind of got confusing, but I 
I did mean the key up there. I'm sorry about that, you guys. We'll check the modulation quickly at channel 40. So I got the uh, Yezu here at 27.405. One, two, three, four, five, testing. One, two, three, four, five, testing. One, two, three, four, five, testing. As you can hear, modulation of this radio sounds excellent. It was uh, known for its uh, good modulation, this particular radio to console 2, as well as the sidebender 2. The sidebender 2. This is the Sidebender 2. I'm still in the process of fixing that one. Like I said, it's the same chassis, but this one was built as a uh, base station. A very nice looking base station, I might say. And it works excellent. I didn't have to uh, do too much to restore this. Like I said, it was already in perfect condition. I uh, changed some bad capacitors, or weak capacitors I should say, and that was basically the only thing I did to it, and of course the uh, crystal. I can change the crystals back to the old situation, that's not a problem at all, because like I said, crystals are not soldered, they're just plug-in crystals. Excellent modulation, excellent receiver.
but is carrying a firearm and be willing to use deadly force if necessary. And last thing on this list for the major. And I got him. I hit him. Take that bigger way and bend him down there and put that in. Hey, you, you don't want to talk there, you need a good antenna there, you sure do there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that man, uh, that j pole there, uh, there's a lot of people using them now. Uh, I've seen uh, quite a few of them on people's houses there, uh, sticking up behind the house there, uh, Roger. They go, yeah, because they work so good. Yeah. Good morning to you down there in Central Florida. Hope all's well and swell. Skip shooter, we the man. Get you on 38 of the morning. Uh, next week or whatever. And, uh, 